someone asked for uh, economics applications of derivatives, and here we go. If you see the word marginal in front of something on a derivative test, marginal means take the derivative, okay? If you're given a revenue function and a cost function, and you're asked for marginal revenue, marginal revenue is simply R prime, or the derivative. Now, uh, the derivative of this function here is, well, the derivative of that is 30, and the derivative of this is, bring the 2 down, that doubles the coefficient, and I notch the exponent down by 1 on x. Oh, well, that was super easy. If you're wondering what marginal revenue is, it's the amount of money made or amount of money that comes in extra for every one more unit that you, well, in whatever X is. If X is sold, it's sold. If X is made, it's made. I'm going to assume it's sold. For every extra one that you sell, you're supposed to make this amount of money on that one. Now, obviously, you might want to keep making them as long as you continually make money per one that you sell. Really, though, marginal profit is what you want because you just want profit to be positive, right? Yeah. Sorry, my phone froze there. I thought I was going to lose the video. What's marginal cost? Well, that shouldn't be a surprise. It's the derivative of cost. The der wow, the derivative of the cost function here is simply 2, which means for every 1 more that I sell, my cost increases by $2, right? Cost increases $2 for every 1 extra sold. If this had an X in it, I would have to plug in the number that I'm selling to figure out how much that extra one is costing me. Cool? Now, here comes the more interesting bit, if you ask me. Profit. Profit, which I'm going to call P, is, if you know anything about economics, revenue minus cost. It's the amount of money you're bringing in minus all your expenses. So I'm actually going to have to plug these functions in. That's 30x minus 0.025x squared minus whatever the cost function was. There we go. I'm going to have to distribute that negative through the brackets. That's still 0.025x squared with a minus 2x and a minus 5. And when I collect my like terms, I'm going to end up with plus 28x minus 5. Ah, that was easy. That's just polynomial work. I could ask a grade 9 kid to do that. Marginal profit, though, is, surprise again, the derivative of profit. And because we already have the profit function, hopefully that's super easy for you. Bring the 2 down. That's negative 0.05x. And the derivative of plus 28x is plus 28. So for every one extra unit that I make after making x units, this is how much more money I will make. You want marginal profit to be positive, otherwise you're losing money, right? You want profit to be increasing as for as long as you can because that's how you maximize profits. But uh, you'll have your maximum profit when your marginal profit has finally decreased to zero. Assuming the marginal profit was positive and eventually trends negative, you'll have reached your max profit when it's equal to zero. That's super easy in this case. I'm going to follow this through because I think it's an interesting exercise. I'm going to move this to the other side, equals 28. And when I divide both sides by 0 0.05, I believe I get 560, which means this is the number of units I need to sell to maximize my profit. 
it's marginal profit that tells us that because marginal profit is positive if profit is increasing and negative if profit is decreasing. And that's why this marginal stuff is applications of derivative and that's why you're a beast. Am I right? Of course I am. Best of luck to you.